So I have here a file that was made in Aspen V11 and I will try to open that and as you can see it is a high sys file. So take a look, take attention about that. So when I try to open, the Aspen high sys will give you a device telling you that the version of this process simulation is different or it's newer than the version that you have uh, uh, of the software that you have installed in your machine. So it's not possible to open that. The, this process simulation was in V11 and I am what I have available here for this live, live session is the V10. So I am not able to open the file. However, the Aspen High Seas, you, when you save a file, you have different kinds of extension that you can choose to save a file. One of them is the .hsc, that is the standard extension for the Aspen High Seas, but there is also the, the .xml file. And now, instead of looking for High Seas file, what I will do is change or I can choose the all files, but I will not do that. I will look for high seas XML cases. When I do that, I have the same process simulation done in V11 software, but now it is saved in XML file. So I will click on that and I will try to open and remembering it is already open here, but I will open again. So I was doing some tests. So you can see that now the process simulation was opened, although I'm using a older version of the Aspen High Seas. And what is important to you understand here is that the XML file will load your objects that you have in your process simulation and will load only the user's inputs. So if I added information to, to pressure, temperature, composition, it will be loaded by the Aspen High Seas. For instance, uh, here I have temperature, pressure, mass flow, composition is also filled because all of this information was uh, put or was informed by the user. The Aspen High Seas will not load calculated values. And in many in, in pay standard, it will return the so if it, there is some standard values that the Aspen High Seas uses to do the calculation, it will return to the standards, uh, the standards of the Aspen High Seas. And if you have some kind of inconsistencies when we we activate the process simulation, you need to verify if it is because of this standard value that was changed in the original, let's say that way, the, the process simulation. So now to, to run my process simulation, I just need to click on activate. So now it, it was converted 